Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the update recap video. And for me, the update just dropped this morning. A lot of cool stuff. I'm going to give my opinions, talk a little bit about it in this video. Um, I went ahead and didn't make any uh, videos as the sneak peeks came out, just because I wanted to condense it all into one video. That way I can talk uh, with a little more, more perspective and talk the bigger picture, knowing everything that's come out. Um, instead of speculating too much and having to keep making videos every time they release a sneak peek. So anyway, this one's going to include basically everything in the update um, besides the uh, changes to the matchmaking system. I talked about that in a video uh, a week back or so when that came out. So you can go check out my thoughts on the uh, changes to the war matchmaking system if you want uh, a few videos back. Also, there were some smaller changes to like the artwork and they made a change to uh, you can now be a spectator at any point. You can uh, hop in and watch a War Attack live, even if it's almost near the end. It's no another cool change, but those small things I'm not going to talk about. Uh, there's a lot of them. They're you know typically helping the game out, making it a little bit easier to play, a little cooler. Uh, but I'm talking about the big things mainly, uh, specifically how it's affecting War. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that as well before I start. Uh, but anyway, the update's out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with some of the big things. Um, so bear with me as I kind of go through here. Um, the first thing is we have obviously the new troop, which I'm just gonna talk about now. It's called the Bowler. Um, you can see gameplay on Chief Pat's channel. He has some good uh, replays and stuff of that. But basically it's this troop uh, that's unlocked at Town Hall 10 and it shoots um, this ball that kind of bounces once. So it has two different targets if, you, if it aims right. It does splash damage. Um, I don't want to try to describe it too much. You can you can watch a uh, gameplay of it if you haven't already on some of the bigger YouTubers. Um, but anyway, uh, honestly, I don't think this is much of a game changer. It looks pretty weak to me. And um, okay, that being said, I did think the Lava Hound looked kind of weak too when it first came out, even though it ended up being super overpowered. So I might I might be wrong about the Bowler, but um, it only takes up eight troop troop space. So that's another thing. However, I think it just looks kind of weak, doesn't do a whole lot of damage, um, has a moderate amount of hit points. Um, it just doesn't seem like it's it's something that's going to be used that often. Um, I think there's bigger offensive bust or uh, offensive buffs at Town Hall 10. So uh, I don't think the bowler is going to be that much of a factor or at Town Hall 11 for that matter. But I could be wrong. Obviously, you can start bringing it in the clan castle at the lower levels. But even that, I don't think will be used that much. I think people will still bring high level hogs. Now, if there's level six hogs, which I'll get to in a minute, or a high level dragon or something like that, I don't think the bowler is going to be used that much as it is. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, people can get really creative with this uh, new troops and stuff. So I'm excited to see what people do with it. But right now, I don't see a whole lot that's going to be done with it. Um, anyway, though, another thing that came out was just for Town Hall 11, a new level Mortar and a new level for the Inferno Tower. I think those are both good uh, additions because Witches are very overpowered at Town Hall 11. I think the Mortar is going to help balance that out a little bit, um, although it already was a one-shot on the Skeletons for the Max Mortar before this. So the new Mortar is really just upping splash damage on like a group of Witches or something, which is still good. It still helps a little bit. So I think I think that um, at this point, it's best for Town Hall 11 to be a two-star game. I don't see any hope of it being a three-star game. So in that case, they should just make uh, the two stars as hard as they can uh, to keep it competitive and uh, you know keep the game fun up there. So I think uh, adding this new uh, defense levels makes it a little bit harder to two-star, makes it a little bit more exciting. Town Hall 10s are going to have a lot of trouble two-starring Town Hall 11s now, uh, which is, is good. That's how it should be. It shouldn't be that easy to go up a Town Hall level and get the two-star. Uh, the new Inferno Tower obviously is very scary. Um, whether it's single or multi, it's just going to be doing more damage and uh, also going to help prevent against witches on multi. So um, obviously witches were very overpowered at Town Hall 11 when they first came out. And I think this is going to do a good job balancing it. So two good changes there in my opinion. But obviously it's only going to affect Town Hall 11 players for the most part. Uh, not a huge trickle down to the Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 9s, unless they're going up to try to two-star. Uh, those bases. Um, the next thing that came out with the new troop levels, and this is the thing I'm most excited about at Town Hall 10, we had the level 6 hogs 
and the level 5 Valks. Um, first with the Hogs, I think this is a great addition. I've I've said multiple times, I think, that uh, Town Hall 10 needs a new level Hog and a new level Valk. Um, those are my exact words multiple times. Uh, I don't know the exact video, but I've said it in the comments. I've said it all over the place, and I think this is finally... Uh, we're getting what we need here to help balance out Town Hall 10. I think this is awesome. Um, it's really going to help out. Uh, I'm excited to see how people use hogs because um, with the new uh, hog level, the new Valk level, I think they might be more usable at um, Town Hall 10, and that's good. I think uh, we need more diversity, not just, you know, go La Loon, Queen Walk, Lava Hound attacks. We need something on the ground. And uh, this is going to be something that could possibly be a feasible three-star strategy at Town Hall 10. Once again, we'll see how people use them. As far as uh, donating them go, it's another thing that kind of makes Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8 uh, easier. But there were some changes that countered that and helped balance it out the other way, uh, which I'll talk about in a moment as we get to the lower level, to the lower level town halls. But um, it'll also it'll be very uh, OP in the clan castle. A Town Hall 8 can bring level 6 hogs now, so that's pretty powerful, um, but like I said, there's going to be some balancing to it, so I'll get to that in just a minute, but I'm very excited to see these new troop levels. Uh, most exciting thing in the update, in my opinion, and that's something that is going to make me seriously consider going to Town Hall 10 pretty soon. Um, just general changes to Town Hall 11. They uh, nerfed the Grand Warden a little bit. His range is down, and his Eternal Tomb has been reduced slightly as far as range goes. I think that's good. I think he was pretty overpowered as well. Once again, I'm going to make it a little bit harder for a Town Hall 11 just to get the easy 2-star and to get kind of an easy 3-star with a spam attack. Uh, they're really make, taking steps towards uh, nerfing the Town Hall 11 offense because it was pretty overpowered with the, the Witches and the Grand Warden. So all good there in my opinion. Town Hall 10 changes. Uh, the Inferno now atar uh, acquires targets faster. This one I'm a little apprehensive about. I think, and there's even some more changes to witches, which I'll get to in a moment. I think the changes they already made to witches are enough. This, if it was intended to help uh, nerf witches, is not going to be worth it because it's also going to make it so much harder to three-star at Town Hall 10. Um, and, you know, you could argue it's maybe not that big of a change. We don't know how much faster they'll acquire targets, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little bit more uh, as soon as one... Uh, target goes down, it's going to lock onto something else really quickly. So I, I think it's whatever it is, it's going to help Town Hall 10 defenses, and that's not something that we want at this point. Um, so I don't think that's good, to be honest. I think if the if the goal of Supercell was to nerf witches, they already had done enough. So not a good change in my opinion, but we'll, we'll see how it affects things, and hopefully it's not that big of a change because Infernos, their streams did change pretty quickly anyway. So it's hard for them to keep uh, switching that much quicker. But like I said, we'll see. Hoping it's not something that's too noticeable. Um, another change for Town Hall 10 is that uh, Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 players are less likely to find each other in multiplayer battles. Um, another good thing there just uh, makes it multiplayer a little more fun if you're trophy pushing. Not that big of a deal to war or anything. Uh, but I guess just a nice quality of life change for a trophy pusher. Uh, Town Hall 9 changes, all skeleton hit points reduced. Uh, I th I think that's another... Uh, well, I, I think beforehand, maybe an archer tower couldn't one-shot a skeleton. I'm not actually sure about that. It might depend on the level. But it's another thing to help nerf witches. And whether or not that's going too far, I don't know. I think that might be okay had the Inferno Tower not been changed. But um, And there's more coming after this. It's pretty... Unbelievable! They're really making sure witches aren't what they were before the update. Uh, but anyway, uh, I I think that you know skeletons were pretty weak anyway. You know they're kind of a one shot troop, so I don't think it's going to change that much. I I honestly don't remember if if a archer tower can one shot a skeleton before the update. It probably depends on the archer tower level and the skeleton level. But uh, whatever it is, I think that's fine. I don't think skeletons were supposed to be that tanky to begin with. So no no objections there really. Um, another update or another feature is that Goblin level six have been, has been moved to Town Hall nine, uh, which was once Town Hall ten. So 
helps farming a little bit. I guess helps clean up in your war attacks if you bring goblins. Not that big of a deal, but I think that makes sense to have level 6 goblins at Town Hall 9. Uh, Expos level 2 to 4 damage increased. Finally, something that helping out the Town Hall 9 balance. Um, and they actually have been greatly increased from what I saw in the stats. They're up to like 90 DPS, which is a lot. I think an Archer Tower is 75 at Town Hall 9 when it's maxed out. So that's quite a bit of extra damage uh, that this Expo is now going to do. So if you put it in the right spot, it can really help uh, nerf Queen Walk, make it harder for someone to do a Queen Walk on you. Uh, so I think that's a good change. And uh, we needed that and possibly more defensive uh, buffs to Town Hall 9, which we did get, and I'll get to that in a moment. So uh, Town Hall 8 plus changes, the Valk, uh, Valkyrie damage increased, hit points decreased. So it's basically making it a little less tanky. I still looked at the hit points. They're still pretty solid on it, still more than the Giant. And uh, the damage increased, that's pretty scary, but that's also good for Town Hall 10. I think they're going to be used a lot more at Town Hall 9 just because the tankiness is still there, but the extra damage is just going to be super overpowered. Plus, um, the Valk now acquires targets faster, so it literally will, and you can watch this on Chief Pat's channel, it will run up to a building and swing immediately, then just go on to the next one once it goes down and start the swinging process immediately as it gets to the position. So there's less of a delay. Um, you might have seen your Valks, they kind of move slowly. Once they stand between two buildings, they pause, then they swing. That's no longer the case. Uh, they're more fluid in their movements, and it's just a lot quicker, which is good to see for Town Hall 10, but I think at Town Hall 9, they're going to be used quite a bit more, possibly too much, but we'll see how that works out. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Wizard Tower levels, uh, for, for levels 5 to 9, the hit points have been increased and especially increased on the later levels. So I think that's another good change. I think it's going to help Town Hall 9 defenses. Obviously, it's a double-edged sword because it hurts Town Hall 10. That's basically the theme of this update is stuff that's being added to help balance Town Hall 9 is kind of hurting the balance of Town Hall 10, uh, which is being offset a little bit by the new troop levels. We'll see how much so it actually is. I'm actually really excited to see how Town Hall 10 ends up balancing. But... Uh, yeah, another change uh, that's going to help Town Hall 9. I think the Wizard Towers should have more hit points in general. Um, make it a little bit harder for balloons, hogs to take them down. Because uh, they are kind of a uh, defense that's not used quite as much as it should be. And uh, I think people will start realizing the value of the Wizard Tower a little bit more. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. Uh, defending troops but not heroes will flee from poison spells if they're just standing there idle. So if they're attacking a troop like in the area, then they will not flee the poison spell, but if they're just standing there and you drop a poison spell on them, they'll run outside the radius of the spell. That's basically, uh, in my opinion, an awesome change. It makes it so you can't just throw out the CC then drop, you know, two poisons on them if it's a dragon or something. You have to basically engage the CC troops with your own troops before you can poison them. Uh, so it really brings back value to witches or wizards or something like that in the clan castle. A uh, good change in my opinion. All right, another one is all dark spell brewing time decreased to 10 minutes. All elixir spell brewing time decreased to 20 minutes. All good stuff there. Just make the spells a little less uh, time consuming to make. Um, they've done this twice now, but this is always a good change. Spells do take a while. Um, next change we're looking at, battle time limit reduced to be 3 minutes per attack once again. Um, this is a big one. Battle time is now 3 minutes again. That's awesome for Town Hall 9, but once again, that is a tragedy for Town Hall 10. Um, even at Town Hall 10, you kind of have to do a big queen walk to have a chance for the 3 star, and that, would, that was pushing the 3 minutes, 30 seconds anyway. But now that you only have three minutes, uh, Town Hall 10 is going to be a lot harder. Unless the Valks and the Hogs are just so OP that you can kind of storm or base with that. Um, any kind of Queen Walk or Long Queen Walk to get value from that is not going to be uh, that easy to do anymore. You'll have to be doing stuff simultaneously. Going to make it a lot harder for Town Hall 10. But um, I think that's really going to be the most 
helpful thing to balance Town Hall 9. Making it three minutes, eliminating the big queen walks, making it harder to use dragons or stuff like that. Um, so like I said, this is the update for Town Hall 9, not for Town Hall 10 necessarily. Depends on how the Valks and the Hogs affect it. But I think uh, I would have rather seen some kind of buff to the defenses at Town Hall 9 further, like a level 1 Inferno Tower, like I've been saying, instead of doing that, because if you add something just to Town Hall 9, it won't affect Town Hall 10, but this is going to affect all Town Hall levels and make it really hard to 3-star at the high le up level. Um, but we'll see if people can still pull off the 3-star. I think it's going to be a lot harder, though. Um, Alright, a few smaller things. Uh, revenge attacks, award bonuses. Um, that's awesome. A little more loot for you guys. Uh, new building constructions can no longer be canceled. So you can't build an inferno. So it'll be inside like your... Because if you build, start building something, it registers as part of your uh, war base and then cancel it so you don't actually have it built. That way you can kind of game the system because when you get matched up, you're matched up with like a Town Hall 9. But if you had just gone to Town Hall 10, you can build the inferno and make it so you have basically uh, Inferno up on the person across from you on the war map. Uh, but that's no longer the case. You can't cancel constructions. You can cancel upgrades though, which I think is an uh, awesome balance. Make it a little bit harder to cheat the system there. Um, I believe that's all I have though for this one. Like I said, Town Hall 9 is in a, a pretty good spot right now in my opinion. Assuming the, the uh, Valks aren't too OP and don't uh, just kind of skew the balance too much. I think it's going to be pretty well balanced with the new uh, back down to three minutes, um, the expo buff, the wizard tower buff. Um, and I think one thing that wasn't mentioned was that skeletons no longer trigger bombs. Another thing to help nerf the witches, which I think won't be used at Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10 much anymore, but we might still see at Town Hall 11 because the level 3 witches are still pretty powerful even though they've done a ton of things to try to make them less effective. But like I said, I'm really excited to see how the new Town Hall 10 troops work out. The new troop uh, looks interesting, and hopefully people find a good way to use it, because uh, it might work well with Hogs or Valks. Like I said, I just all I've wanted to see at Town Hall 10 is some new ground troop options for three stars, and we might be seeing that. Uh, we can only hope. But hope you guys enjoyed the update recap video. Like I said, I'll let you guys know if I plan on going to Town Hall 10, because right now I'm pretty much maxed besides a few walls. And uh, once, once those walls finish, I'm probably going to seriously consider going to Town Hall 10. But it depends on how the war scene's looking and if Town Hall 10 is a fun place to be uh, as far as war goes. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment if I missed something because I'm sure I did. It was a huge update because uh, I can always go back and try to cover something in a later video. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my later videos and uh, should have some awesome post-update gameplay coming for you guys over the next few days, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectron out.